Hey there and welcome to another Dave Does. Today we are doing another Patreon request. Uh, today's Patreon is up here. Thank you very much for your support to the channel. As always, the Patreons uh, for their support get to pick up to three songs per month. Uh, today's Patreon has requested to check out In Flames and Take This Life. I've done quite a few In Flames, varying from their early stuff to their more recent stuff. I have to be honest, I'm a bigger fan of their more recent stuff to their earlier stuff, and I know that they can be quite divisive in people's fanships, where people really liked their earlier, more aggressive sound. They felt they could be home to commercial in more recent times. I like the hook of the more commercial stuff, so uh, I'll wait and see. I think this might be an earlier ver earlier song, so uh, should be interesting to check out. Now, if you like this video, please do subscribe, hit bell icon, like, share, leave your comments down below. Remember, there is no pausing or talking during the video. That way you get to enjoy the song, I get to enjoy the song, and you don't get that awkward pause where so you're just about to go into a solo and someone pauses it and ruins the whole flow of the video. Uh, let's get into this. I'll share thoughts and feelings at the end. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so influence and take this life. So I think I have heard this song before, and the reason I say that is um, 
My old guitarist, uh, Andy, he was a big In Flames fan, and I fairly certainly played this to me in the car once. Uh, so it kind of had that hook that I kind of remember from the chorus. Uh, either that or I've just heard it somewhere else before. There must be, I've got a feeling this is something that I've been played at a metal club or something that I may have gone to historically. Um, so, great example of great melodic death metal. Um, I felt... I'm not a fan of that fast section. I just wasn't. It wasn't getting to me. To, getting to me. Uh, but I really liked the pre-chorus and the chorus was great. I liked the guitar melodies on the chorus. And when you listen to it in the whole context of the song, it makes sense for them to have the intensity over the verses that they did. Otherwise, it wouldn't have the diverse variation in the song. If they had sort of a mid-tempo verse, it would have just been kind of plod along it needed the intensity over the verses for the chorus where you've got the big hook in the big chorus uh the, the the chord progression over there and the big chords um for that to make sense uh, and to feel right within the song so once i listened to about halfway through the song it started to make more sense to me uh i have no idea what we were singing about uh, i've got no lyrics in front of me so i don't know what the concept of the song was about um Felt like there was some attitude around uh, potentially was this some suicide or I, I I honestly don't know. Sometimes with the videos, they're really clear about storytelling. This one didn't really have much of what I could tell from the story. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was different things that missed, um, but it didn't come across in the video for me. So I, it's, it's useful when bands actually do tell a story with the video. Uh, I think I lost it in this one. It felt very early 2000s as far as like 2000, 2004 2005 era metal actually probably more like 2008 but uh it felt like that sort of stylization that, that we had a lot of things like we had uh bring me to life by evanescence around sort of mid mid to early 2000s there was this whole kind of filtering element that was getting done in videos a lot um, so there's a certain stylization that we used to get around that sort of era um, that changed around 2010 it started changing into a different direction but um, you can definitely feel the, the videos from the metal bands from 2005 to 2010 have got a certain feel to them uh, and this is where this one kind of sits for me but uh, good track yeah I, it feels earlier for my info compared to what I've heard more recently uh, but I still quite liked it. it I think if I had listened to that a couple more times uh, I think I'd be a big fan of that track. So I think it's one of those ones that after a couple more listens, you need repeated listens to it to appreciate it. Uh, and then it's a big thumbs up at that point. But uh, thumbs up for me anyway for Infamous and Take This Life. Good song. Now, if you like this video, please do subscribe, click the bell icon, like, share, leave the comments down below. And that, of course, is how Dave does it.